Hi everyone. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today's lesson is just expanding simple double brackets. Okay. So let's just start with the first examples. Okay. Now, when you expand double brackets, you can use an acronym that stands for FOIL. So FOIL basically stands for uh, first, it, outer, inner, last. So these are four simple steps that you can use to expand brackets okay some people prefer the method the grid method um, it entirely depends on you i'll show you both ways uh, but i like to use the foil method now if we're your method we're going to start off with the first basically means multiplying the two x's together so it'll be x times x which gives us x squared that's what first stands for now the outer is you're going to be multiplying the first x with the last number inside the second brackets which is which we refer to as the outer so that is x times 6 which gives us 6x right now we're going to be multi uh, third step is the inner so it's going to be the two inner num uh, numbers and variables 2 times x which gives us 2x and last is the two last number and variable in each of the brackets so be 2 times the 6 which is 12. Now at this stage you need to simplify the expression x squared plus 6x plus 2x plus 12. Now to do that you're going to collect like for like terms and the only similar terms that are, that are present in this expression is the 6x and the 2x so I'm going to add them together so 6x plus 2x gives us 8x so it's x squared plus 8x plus 12 and that is our final answer so I've expanded the bracket and our final answer is x squared plus 8x plus 12 second example again using the foiled method is first is you're going to multiply the x in the first bracket with the x in the second bracket x times x gives us x squared the outer is the x multiply the last number in the second bracket which is x times 9 which is 9x inner is the two numbers and variables multiplied together 8 times x which gives us 8x and then we have 8 times 9 which gives us 72 now at this stage again you just collect like for like terms it's terms in the middle that are very uh, that are similar so we have 9x plus 8x which gives us 17x plus 72. So our final answer is x squared plus 17x plus 72. Now you've you got to be very careful when you multiply positives with negatives and negatives positive because a lot of students get confused and there, there is a, a very simple uh, procedure. Whenever you multiply a negative with negative or positive with positive you get a positive answer however if the signs are different so i.e. a positive with a negative or a negative with a positive the overall effect is going to be a negative so in our third example we have x plus 5 x minus 1 so again we're going to be using the simple foil method so x times x which gives us x squared and then we have x times negative 1. You need to incorporate the negative 1. It's negative in front of the 1. So that's going to be negative 1x. I'm just going to put x. Okay. Next step is the, the inner. So that'd be 5 times the x, which is 5x. And then we have 5 times negative 1, which gives us minus 5. Right. So at this stage, what we need to do is simplify by collecting like for like terms so we have 1 minus 1x 
plus 5x, which equals to 4x. So we have x squared plus 4x minus the 5. So that's our final answer. Remember, in your number lines, we have a negative 1 over here. We've got 0, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to minus 1 plus the 5. So minus 1's over here, plus 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it lands on the 4. So the overall answer is going to be x squared plus 4x minus 5. Now, a fourth example, again, simple process, simple. We're going to be using the FOIL method. So it'd be x times x, which gives us x squared. And then we x times negative 1. So x times negative 1, again, gives us minus 1x. And then we have negative 9 multiplied by x, which is minus 9 x and then again we have negative 9 multiplied by negative 1 so minus times a minus or negative times a negative is going to be an overall positive positive 9 and then we're just going to simplify it further so we have minus 1x minus 9x which gives us minus 10x plus 9 so our overall answer is x squared minus 10x plus 9. Again, so our fifth example, x plus 6, x minus 2. We need to expand the brackets. We're going to be using the FOIL method. I'll show you another method, the, the, the grid method on this side of the uh, question. So x times x which gives us x squared. And then we have x times negative 2. Remember, it's the negative in front of the 2. So that's negative 2x. And then we have 6 times x, which gives us positive 6x. And then we have 6 times minus 2, which is minus 12. Again, you're going to collect like for like terms. So it's the the terms in the expression in the middle. So minus 2x plus 6x is going to give us positive 4x minus 12. So that's our final answer. When we do the grid method, what we tend to uh, have is when we construct it, the first bracket always goes on the first row. So x and minus 4. Second bracket always goes in the column over here. So you have x and minus 5. So x times x gives us x squared. x times minus 4 is minus 4x. Minus 5 times x gives us minus 5x. Minus 5 times minus 4 is minus, sorry, positive 20. So a minus multiplied by minus gives us a positive. And then I'm just going to write the answer over here. So x squared minus 4x minus 5x plus 20. So a minus 4x minus 5x gives us minus 9x plus 20. So that's our final answer. So it depends on you entirely. If you prefer the grid method, you can use the grid method. But if you prefer the FOIL method, you can use the FOIL method. It's entirely up to you. You, you get the same answer regardless. Uh, so again, we have x minus 5, x minus 3. First, x times x, x squared. Outer, x times minus 3. So it's minus 3x. Inner, minus 5 times x, which is minus 5x. So minus 5 times minus 3 gives us positive 13. Simplify it further by collecting like-for-like -like terms. We have x squared minus 8x plus 
15. And that is our final answer. Another example, x minus 4, x plus 5. Again, first, x times x, x squared, outer, x times 5, which is 5x. And then we have minus 4 times x, which is minus 4x. And then we have minus 4 times 5, which gives us a negative 20. So that's the last step. Again, simplify it further. So it's x squared. 5x minus 4x gives us positive 1x minus 20. Again, so these, I like to have like a test your understanding kind of concept. So give this uh, question a go, expand the brackets. We have x minus three, x minus three. And I'll give you a couple of, I'll give you a minute to answer this question and I'll then answer it for you. So that, so now we have, x times x, which is x squared, x times minus 3, it's minus 3x. And then we have minus 3 times x, which is minus 3x. And minus 3 times minus 9 gives us a positive 9. You're going to collect like for like terms. So minus 3x minus 3x gives us minus 6x. So it's x squared minus 6x plus the 9. So that's our final answer. Hopefully you should have got this answer. Second, test your understanding question. You can pause the video and I attempt this question. I'm just gonna go for it right now. So x times x, which gives us x squared. x times five, which is five x. And then you have seven times x, which is seven x. And then seven times five, which is 35. And you're gonna collect like for like terms in the middle. So it's x squared plus 12 x plus 35. And that's our final answer. Hopefully you got this answer. Over here we have x minus five, x plus two. So it'll be x times x, which is x squared. X times positive two, which is positive two x. We have minus five times x, which is minus five x. We have minus five times two, which is minus 10. And then we have two x minus five x, which gives us negative three x. So we have x, squared minus 3x minus 10. Again, that's our final answer. x plus 8x minus 9. So again, expand the brackets always first, x times x, which is x squared x times minus 9, which is minus 9x. Then we have 8 times x, which gives us positive 8x. And then we have 8 times minus 9, which gives us minus 72. And then we're going to simplify it further. So we have x squared minus 9x plus Ax gives us minus 1x, minus 72. And that's our final answer. We have x minus 4, x minus 2. Again, FOIL method, expand the brackets. So first, x times x, x squared. Outer, x times minus 2, minus 2x. Inner, Minus 4 times x gives us minus 4x. 
last minus four times minus four gives us positive eight. And then we simplify it by adding the, well, by collecting the terms in the middle. So x squared minus two x minus four x gives us minus six x plus eight. And that's our final answer. Over here, we have x minus seven, x minus five. So again, x times x, x squared. x times minus five, minus five x. Seven minus seven times x, which is minus seven x. Minus seven times minus five is going to give us positive 35. And then we just simplify it. x squared minus 12 x plus 35. Again, that's our final answer. x minus 7, x minus 3. This time, let's, let's use the grid method. So, first bracket goes over here, so x minus 7. Second bracket goes in the column, x minus 3. x times x, x squared, x times minus 7, minus 7x. x times minus 3, minus 3x. Minus 3 times minus 7 is positive 21. So we have x squared minus 7x minus 3x plus 21. We're going to simplify it. So we x squared minus 7x minus 3x gives us minus 10x plus 21. So that's our final answer. Again, so x plus 2, x plus 1, expand the brackets, x times x, which is x squared, x times minus 1, so x times positive 1 gives us positive x, 2 times x, which is 2x, 2 times 1, which is 2, we have x squared plus 3x plus 2, and that's our final answer. Let's see if you can have a go at these questions I'm going to put right now on the board. Okay, so pause the video and can you attempt these questions on the board? And the answers to these questions are, I'll show you right now. So that's your answers. So hopefully you've attempted them. Thank you for watching.